class 10. Let us move on with the lesson. So far, we have learnt about the women's participation in the national freedom struggle. We have seen how the women have participated in the constitutional manner as well as how they have participated in the armed revolution. We have learned the names of uh, Sarojini Naidu, Annie Basant, Kamla Nehru, uh, Kasturba Gandhi. Then uh, from the armed revolution, uh, we have learned the names of Priti Lata Vadedar, Kalpana Datta, then uh, Lakshmi Swaminathan, etc. etc. There were many hundreds and thousands of women. All the names are not recognized in the history. Now, before I proceed, let me tell you that with the next part of the lesson and its PDF, you will be getting the question, uh, different questions uh, regarding the women's participation in the uh, freedom struggle in the, in the same PDF. Now what you will be doing, you will be copying down the questions and uh, write the answers in your classwork copies from the notes and from your textbooks. Now let us proceed. Today I am going to begin with the students participation in the national freedom struggle during the 19th and 20th century. Now, 19th century, actually the students were just get acquainted with the ideas of patriotism and nationalism. They were getting western educated during that time and they were getting familiar with the, uh, with the ideas of democracy, uh, liberty, uh, equality, etc, etc. So, they came across the uh, different uh, international uh, events like the uh, liberation movement in Ireland, uh, the Russian, uh, sorry, not the Russian Revolution, the French Revolution, the most important one. And they were inspired by all these uh, movements outside our country. And also the writings of the uh, people like uh, Harish Chandra Mukherjee, Girish Chandra Ghosh and uh, Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay, all the literature and the writings regarding the situation of the con contemporary um, uh, politics in our country, uh, these all uh, helped in the uh, development of the feeling of nationalism amongst the young people. Now, uh, the main features of the students' movement during the uh, 20th century, the early part of 20th century, were that mostly it was uh, anti-British movement, a political movement, uh, spontaneous. The students, they have uh, joined in the uh, national freedom struggle on their own. They were inspired by the national leaders and their uh, ideologies and during the uh, Quit India movement and uh, civil disobedience movement when there was, uh, there was the introduction of leftist politics in uh, our country, the students have equally uh, shown the enthusiasm towards the left as well as the right wing politics. So they were secular, that means they were non-communal, meaning they were not based upon any particular religion. So uh, it was, it was uh, for all, all um, community students have participated in the national freedom struggle equally, with equal enthusiasm. And uh, during the Swadeshi and boycott movement, mostly the students uh, focused upon the boycott of the foreign goods and the 
foreign institutes. So these were the features, most mainly anti-British and spontaneous, uh, fearless, and uh, uh, and um, uh, non-communal, uh, secular movement. They were involved in. Then uh, the first person who had uh, sponsored the students' movement in our country that was in Bengal by Anand Mohan Basu. But the first student organization that had been formed by Surendranath Banerjee. And then uh, Ashwini Kumar Datta during the anti-partition movement, he had inspired the students of uh, Brojamohan College uh, to take part in the uh, same. And uh, do, uh, before the uh, before uh, the First World War, we come across the uh, student leaders, uh, students, basically the armed revolutionaries. Now we come across the names uh, like Kudiram Bose, Prafullo Chaki, and after uh, Barindra Ghosh, and then uh, after the uh, First World War, we come across uh, the um, uh, revolutionaries uh, like uh, Jyotin Das, then um, Bhagat Singh, all these people have been involved. And also we have learned about the women uh, revolutionaries who were mostly uh, students. They had par participated in uh, anti-British movement, the armed revolutionary movement against the British rulers. Uh, they have always uh, the students organizations, different students organizations had been set up during the 20th century. The, uh, many student organizations, they are mostly their aim was of social welfare. They aimed mostly for the social welfare, the welfare of the people. And they had worked for the welfare of the people also and their work was rather commendable, praiseworthy. In Punjab, Khushi Ram was the first student martyr. Uh, and in Bengal, the students movement was divided into two parts. The first part was uh, uh, All Bengal Students Association which was under Jyotindro uh, Mohan Shengupto and the other one was the Bengal Presidency Students Association which was under the leadership of Subhash Chandra Bose. And the first parliament of the students was held in 1942 in Calcutta University which was presided by Pratap Chandra Chandra. So these are a few names which you have to memorize and uh, from this part of the uh, lesson. And uh, uh, during the Second World War, you know the Second World War occurred due to the rise of uh, fascist ideologies in Europe and uh, the uh, French... Uh, scholar uh, Roma Rola had uh, warned the Indian students about the danger of the of fascism, fascist ideology and the Indian students they have also protested against the fascist ideology during the Quit India movement in 1942. So uh, all these were the uh, important aspects of the student movement in our freedom struggle. Now, uh, the importance of the students' involvement, like what were the effects of the students' involvement in the Indian national struggle? That it was the, it was, it, it strengthened the freedom struggle of India uh, next, it was, uh, it proved that the youth of India were totally anti-British and then it helped in the rise of students' politics, students getting involved in the politics.
politics in India and also the uh, <clears throat> the enthusiasm, the self-sacrificing uh, attitude, then uh, the spontaneity, all these things, the revolutionary activities, these all inspired the uh, national leaders also. Many a times, the national leaders who were mostly barristers and advocates, they had fought for these young revolutionaries uh, when they were arrested and the trial was being held. Many eminent national leaders have fought for them against the British uh, judiciary. And then uh, they were, uh, the students' organizations, they had been involved in the social welfare activities. So that was also a part of the students' movement. And the um, students' uh, movements from there, we have come across many uh, eminent uh, future student, uh, future leaders, future national leaders, ministers, etc., uh, who have uh, helped uh, uh, to uh, uh, run the Indian government smoothly after she got her independence from the British. So we are ending over here today. We will proceed next day with different students and student organizations in the freedom movement. Please note down these points.